<laughs> As we arrived, Kenya, the first service that had there, September, we hit global news. <laughs> where we should be lost, naturally, so we were found. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. He said, Little your hair, you get your everlasting to be lifted up. You can't be walking with him and get to stop your way. No. That thing so caught my attention. I wrote 400 postcards with that verse only to all my friends. No internet, no nothing. Watch you. Your future is not in your plan, it's in God's plan. God spoke to me this morning. <laughs> I love to share lavishly whatever God shows me. I've lived by that rule till now. There was no way to get to Canaan land, I mean to get to Canaan land, if not we know how to follow his leading. Never. Never. My little brain won't agree. But when we got lost, is when we were found. Until we got lost into his plan, we were not found. <laughs> As we arrived, Canaan, the first service that had there, September, we hit global news. <laughs> Where we should be lost, naturally, is when we were found. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It's so sweet. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him by his word. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know does say the Lord. It's so sweet. I've had untold opportunities that could have delayed my life. Blessed be God who taught me early. I've been invited to places that look so glamorous. Bless God, who said, no, don't go. Have I any regret? Zero. Over to you. You have only one life. If it's wasted, it's wasted. If it delivers, praise God. The choice is ours. While ruminating on this this morning, this is what came to me. Now, if you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost, you are not a candidate for being led. You are not, sir. He leads us absolutely by spirit. Absolutely by spirit. I have many things to say to you. You can't handle them now. How be it? When the spirit of truth is come, it will guide you into all truth. It will guide you. John 16, 12 to 14. For he shall not speak of himself, whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Now, 14, he will receive of mine and show it to you. So he is the revelator of God's agenda. Everybody needs, I, I've seen some of our graduates, I mean, it goes, I, I, I just wonder whether they pass through here. I wonder. Led by the Spirit, does he know the meaning? He doesn't know. Was he taught? Yes. But he didn't have the tool. Breakthrough came the way of Peter when the Spirit of God said to him, Go down. Some two people are waiting for you. Go with them, doubting nothing. That's how the gospel go to the Gentiles, to Samaria. Praise God. Oh my God. The Spirit said to him, You read that in Acts chapter 10. Now in Acts chapter 16, 6 to 8, the, when Paul and his team were on their way, the Spirit refused them to go. Now, now when they had gone throughout Phrygia and the region of Galatia and were forbidden of the Holy Ghost, no, don't go there. After they were come to Mysia, they are said to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit suffered them not. That's not the way to go. So 
without the spirit, we are limited. We are utterly limited, sir. When they brought me here by force, <laughs> and I said, okay, let's give thanks to God. The Spirit of God said, this is the place. What? And I told them right on the spot. God just spoke to me now, this is the place. What if we miss it by geographical considerations, security issues, distance from where you're coming from? Who will have missed it forever? It will get somebody else here. There is no wasted kind in the kingdom. You miss it, somebody picks it. You miss it, somebody picks it. You miss it, somebody picks it. We don't have vacant thrones in the kingdom. <laughs> Jesus had 12 thrones for the 12 disciples or the 12 disciples. And then, and then Judas lost his place. He said, let another man take his office. <laughs> his bishop will take. Revelation 3, 11. Your crown that no other man should take. There is no wasted crown. You lose it, somebody picks it. I mean, when you pack out from a house as a tenant, somebody moves in there. Now the house is free. Even if you cost it, somebody will rent it. <laughs> so they are, they are, just mind yourself and your work with God. This journey can be sweet if you care to make it so. Now, watch. In John 10, he said, a Savior they will not follow. They will follow the shepherd because they know the voice of verse 4. John 10, 4. They know his voice. He said, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. Verse 4, please. They know his voice. Now, and this voice is the voice of the Spirit. Let me have ears, let me hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. It's the voice of the Spirit. So when you're not a man of the Spirit, a man with the Holy Ghost, you can't pick the voice of the Holy Ghost. That tells you why many have never heard God speak to them once. They've never heard the Spirit of God speak to them once. They, they have plenty of principles of scriptures. Anybody can assess that. But that God said to me, I think it's time to check it. He has a plan where he's taking us and he has to lead us there. We can't lead ourselves there. He has to lead us there. I was a canton in church yesterday. Yesterday, 10th of April, 2024, made it 42 years when God laid out 12 prophetic lifelines for this commission. In one sweep. One sweep. One by one, we've seen them come to pass. It was 42 years yesterday. Awesome God. He, he, he has the details of your future and my future in hand. Allow him to lead you there. There are places you must pass through to secure your destiny. You must pass through. Jesus needed to pass through Samaria. There are places you must pass through. You know my advice? Don't lead yourself. It can be dangerous. Young people, don't lead yourself into marriage. It can be dangerous. You can live your life in total regret. Don't jump from one country to another every day. You just hear something. Don't jump from one job to another. Ask God's leading. The job you are trying to escape from might become your own later by heaven's agenda without your knowledge. Watch it. No believer will ever outgrow divine guidance. No believer will ever outgrow divine guidance.